Okay. Okay, today um, I'm going to talk about a message to uh, Cornelia Guest. Uh, I've tried and see how this gets into my, my problem with the SDGs, the Sustainable Development Goals uh, that the international community is promoting and it was particularly when I saw those slides on the internet of Mark Lewis, uh, some presentation, was that 2017 April, at the World Bank uh, during, I forget it was the spring or annual meetings. Um, I mean, come on. Tanto mando me pelo. I mean, I'm, you know, my whole story is living proof that the trickle down just is creating the increase in income inequality and your SDGs are going to do the same because, uh, you know, you got the same narcissistic, uh, party hardy, urban living, uh, let's get lots of PhDs in the cesspool and uh, doesn't matter, just, you know, add them from the right and the left and we'll just create more and more and more and more cacophony. And, you know, this is what the Koch brothers uh, have wanted and envisioned back in the, the late 60s, early 70s, and have been successful. You know, you have to give credit where credit is due. Uh, unfortunately, we're with the Fourth Reich right now. And I'm sorry, Cornelia, but uh, you, you definitely were a pawn, but, uh, you know... Uh, it's time for everybody of our generation, you know, everyone in the 50, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, you got to start assuming, uh, you know, all of you 10 percenters, your role in having produced this fourth Reich. And <clears throat> in Washington, in the United States, and it's, it's, it's global, and that's why you have you know, just the different empire building factions vying for power in the world between the Russians, the Chinese, uh, the Brazilians. I've been forgetting the South Africans. The South Africans are there as well. Uh, you know, the Americans and the Europeans are kind of together uh, until that whole thing, you know, until they could become third world. And then <clears throat> the, 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 um, the inviting there will start, uh, you know, and uh, women do, as the UN report in that study on all forms of violence against women shows, it's the women who are producing all of the, the, the customs and the norms, and one of those customs and norms is the ruling elite women who are too busy schmoozing and cruising and shopping and going to the country club and having their affairs uh, to care about the uh, what's going on in their communities in their country and you know as I showed in my letter to Prince Charles this uh, <clears throat> with the comparison it was a, a Nadelson of a person Nadelson who had done a analysis on Dickinson and the revolution and Thomas Paine, you know, ah, oh, the kings are just, the queens are just a bunch of people who sit around partying or parasites on society. Whereas, you know, uh, and he had come from a, a, a you know, a, a poor background. It, it, same story all the time, rags to riches. You know, we want revolution. Um, you know, we see that in my, my ex-husband's family, his, both of his grandfathers on the losing side of the Spanish War, Civil War. Yet, what are the grandsons doing? I mean, you know, I've showed that what, what's going on in the courts uh, to, to women in family courts, and it's not just to women, but it's principally to women and children, and some of you men out there getting caught in the crossfire. Uh, so you should be, you should be on board with me, even, unfortunately, all the women activists out there, all they want is, um, 
you know, that women always win. Uh, so, you know, it's, it's just this, this, uh, competition everywhere, everywhere. Destroy or be destroyed. And that's the name of the game. And it's the Machiavellian game. And it was, uh, you know, there was a, a movement during the 60s, uh, 50s, 60s, and into the 70s. That's why uh, JFK was assassinated, Bobby Kennedy, Martin Luther King. Um, you know, I've always believed that was an inside job. I see, you know, my, my mother is, oh, she's not up in the upper echelons by any means uh, of the Republican Party. But she was the president of the, the Republican uh, Women's Club of Tucson back in the 70s when we were there. And she's always been, um, you know, a good friend of hers, Mike Helen, who was one of John McCain's uh, campaign advisor in 27 for the 28 election. Um, I mean, this, this is always... This is one of the things that angered me so much. All she had to do was pick up the phone and say, Mike Helen, could you please ask John McCain or somebody on his staff even, just call the consulate in Madrid and say, look, this woman, all she wants to do is start a business. And I mean, it's a, it's got a billion dollar revenue potential per year. And for that, her husband wants to kill her. Uh, but it was particularly when Microsoft became interested in the project. That's when he that's when he colluded with the web designers to, to, to take it and you know cyberjack it, hold it for hostage for twenty five thousand dollars. Then this was a web designer in Florida, so of course I try and, and start trying to find. Um, a lawyer in Florida. It was in Tampa. This was just at the time that my uncle was killed in, because he's in Jacksonville, and one of the reasons that I had said, okay, I'll go with Florida, because my Uncle Paul's there, um, and I mean, he, he was always a dentist, but he had some business dealings. He has a, a was a, um, a development, real estate development with uh, airplanes, hangars. It's in, the, not, I don't know, an hour or so from Jacksonville. Um, uh, I forget uh, where exactly. Um, but anyway, he, he had been a pilot in the World War II, had been flying all of his life but uh was getting too old and there was a somebody you know pilot accompanying him and i there was bad weather they came back and they hit the some uh cables or something and and yeah. and were killed of course it was very sudden and very yeah. trying for the family but so you know and then the only other contact i had in in Florida was Jennifer Shaw, daughter of Congressman Clay Shaw. <clears throat> and I tried, you know, I even tried to contact her. Would her father please, you know, this guy's going to kill me. Really? And, and, and my lawyers are just trying to destroy me. And the courts are trying to shut me up. And the police are trying to shut me up. They're, they're, you know, harassing me. They've arrested me. Um, and my ex is trying to get me first as the psychiatric ward. When that's not working, he tries prison. I mean, this is happening to all of these women because everybody else in the, the entourages are, you know, oh, we don't want to get involved. We don't want to get involved. The court ladies were screwing around with the paperwork. My, my ex-husband's cousin was on the local police force, Mostoles, an immigrant town, so corruption is rampant. I mean, you know, I wasn't even afraid for my own life. It was what was going to happen to my children if something happened to me. Because, I mean, I, my ex said, nobody cares. You know, nobody cares about you or your kids. Your, your goose is cooked. I've known that from the beginning, and I've known I've had to do it all by myself. That's what I've been doing. 
because, you know, nobody in my family wants to help me. In fact, they wanted to help my mom, you know, just get on board with my mom. I mean, I'll never forgive, <clears throat> even in 2007, when I'm, you know, things are so bad, I had to go and file a complaint with the police. It was the most horrible thing I've ever had to do in my life. But his family was saying, his mother said, que sera, sera. Yeah. And I mean, anybody who knows me, I mean, at the gym, they were laughing, saying, my Lord, lady, one of the gym guys, he said, because I was doing six hours of aerobics, and he said, destroy your body, I said, better my body than my mind, but he said, if the judge ever calls you a drug addict, just drop on the floor and do 20 push-ups. <laughs> I said, she really put me away from being crazy then. <laughs> I mean, we had a good laugh at it, but it wasn't too funny. Believe me. You guys are going to find out. Oh, everybody's going to find out what it's like to have somebody trying to kill you. If you keep, if everybody keeps this up, this is where it's going to go. Now, this gets into, um, so, you know, uh, uh, Jen, of course, like everybody else, hung me out to dry and, you know, hasn't returned any of my calls. Just ignore her till she goes away or until, you know, she, she, this is all part of the sati game. And this is exactly the dynamics and the alpha dominance feminist movement has eroded the rights of women completely in the West and all with the international community, everybody's focus on the rights of Muslim women and rah, 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 the Americans are the leaders and the Western women are all liberated. That, though, that is just propaganda, total propaganda. And all of this, you know, grappling up the ladder of success, uh, when I finally find some lawyers out okay. there and can start going up against the alpha dominance feminist in court then they're going to have to prove yeah, that they can have it all yeah. because excuse me they're screwing up the world and they've screwed up their kids so I'd like to know where you're having it all because I've shown that you can have it all. But that's by dedicating yourself to your children and your family and your husband. When your children get older, then you do other things. I mean, you know, Cornelia, one of the things, Teal Kennedy, I've been going through Teal Kennedy all of these years. When I came back, I, I contacted C to see if you would be interested in being on the board of global expats because I knew I had also asked Ingrid Betancourt who was the by this time she had been liberated um, from the FARC in Colombia she was the the presidential candidate who had been kidnapped I had been the president of the French expat wives club Bogota guy when she was kind of, um, uh, you know making her bid for president and then she got kidnapped. I mean, I even was supportive of her, and I was scandalous amongst the, the French expat wives of, of the association that I couldn't become involved in local politics. I said, ladies, supporting a platform of any corruption and peace is not getting involved in the local politics of a country. With the IMF game players, the little ladies over at ICD, in collusion with the World Bank civil servant organization reps, is doing is U.S. election meddling and 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 tampering in political process in 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 the United States is going to bite everybody in the ass um, throughout the organizations, uh, but. Uh, it is what it is. I mean, it, it, you know, it just, it is one huge mafia protection racket cesspool. And it is all in order to maintain, you know, the, the, the flow of money coming in 
to a, 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 a swamp where it's just parasites, uh, you know, PhDs and MDAs. I mean, I got so many names of PhDs who need to be investigated for cover-ups of, of different areas under their domain and all sorts of different organizations. All of the reports call for accountability, transparency, accountability. Uh, well, nobody's more transparent than I am. That's why all of you are like, what the hell is this lady doing? <laughs> all of you are like, you know, keep your cards, keep your cards. Uh, uh, I've been picking up aces for 15 years from all of you idiots out there, you know, throwing me ace after ace after ace for cases for the international courts now the whole thing is is the whole pile is so big it really is the nuremberg trials too so you know either i get some support and and people stop playing the ignore her till she goes away game and they start listening to me and we can start building some coalitions i mean i've tried for years and years with the 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 domestic violence people the women's rights people which is is you know not women's rights it's alpha dominance feminists uh, greed rights and that's the only thing that matters in the world just like with the old paradigm where it was the little you know white boys club that only mattered and and everybody else was there to serve them and of course we did not implement the the the, the democratic principles into this country and a lot of that was because of the robber barons i mean you know you I go back it's also back to the founding fathers that you know revolution after revolution well you know these revolutionaries look all if you look at the profile of all of them you know it was kind of rags to riches uh, and and john dickinson was the only one who came from, you know, uh, wealthy, and, and in those days, I mean, he, I think he was one of the wealthiest plantation owners, but in those days, it wasn't this, this immense wealth. I mean, even Monticello, Thomas Jefferson built afterwards, and, um, you know, that just ruined him financially. So, you know, all of this glitz and, 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 and pomp and circumstance was never the, 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 that what made this country, you know, America great. Just, uh, you know, everybody wants a piece of the pie. Everybody wants a piece of the pie. Nobody wants to serve the pie or put into the pie. It's gimme, 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 gimme. Now... Uh, let's see. Yeah, here it is. Okay, so evil stepmothers in the IMF are supporting the Penn Avenue Quadrant Mafia. IMF, World Bank, International Finance Corp, and George Washington University, my alma mater. And George Washington, I mean, I got, ooh, all of the Ivy League schools are looking at problems with their professors and also uh, a lot of their graduates who are out there and part of the Fourth Reich. Uh, and GW is, is particularly greedy and uh, culpable. I always loved when in the French, uh, the French blood scandal with the, because it happened everywhere, with the HIV infection and by, you know, the health, the, the government that was not doing its job and, you know, giving out contaminated blood. 
uh, the the head of the minist the ministry said, eh, "J'étais responsable, mais pas coupable." See, it, it, no, I was responsible, but not not guilty. We, th th this has got to stop. This is something that's been brought in. The, the, all of these different uh, attitudes and norms and traditions have been brought in. And, and you know, I keep on saying, Cornelia, eh, it was Nancy Reagan on the right, but uh, your mom... You know, I, 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 my junior year, I came back to Foxcroft and somebody had told me that you had uh, dropped out. I, I, I was like, I can't believe it. High school dropout? I mean, what's that? Uh, and, and, you know, I mean, the consequence, then we had the Paris Hilton. I mean... You know, it, this is nothing personal, and 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 in fact, I always remember uh, right after we, soon after we graduated, it was for some, one of the, you know, uh, reunions or something, and Mimi, the so Jen was there, Jen Shaw was there, Mimi, and Sandy Minet, and. Uh, that we had an accident. They picked me up at, uh, I've been working, they picked me up at the office, and but they had been having some drinks, and then we drove out to the Foxcroft to stop at the Red Fox. You know, I had a drink, so it was like I was the obvious person to drive, or maybe Jen, I don't remember, but not Mimi. No, 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 Mimi insists on driving her car. Well, we get in this horrible accident, flipping over on the way out to Foxcroft, and you, Henry, told me afterwards, you were the one who came and found her and, and told her that, uh, you know, I'd been in an accident, and, you know, I mean, thank God we were all fine, but I was, uh, after that, I was, Lord, you never have to tell me twice, and after that, I was super strict, I mean, that's what, you know, my husband didn't drink, but... He, he certainly drove, you know, just as dangerous as, as any, any, you know, drunk out there. I mean, always speeding. He had an accident. He hadn't been drinking. He was going 270 kilometers an hour on the Autobahn in, in, in Europe. They were on their way to a football game. Totaled the car. No, they were just concerned that uh, it was a rental car, so they got another. But the, the the cop was like, he took one, he took his license away permanently. I think that was the French one. But of course, my ex had uh, another one, a Spanish one, so he, he still drives. I mean, you know, this is what was ridiculous with the whole arresting me for driving a couple of blobs after I've had a couple of glasses of wine. I mean, I'm like, come on. What, what freaking hypocrites. I mean, this whole thing about me <laughs> being a drug addict since I'm 14 years old and in reform school, I mean, I'm sorry, all the Foxcroft people and Gobble Mall people should be like, what? We're not a reform school? <laughs> Some of us are nowadays. It's our parent. Well, maybe it wasn't a two off mark. It's just delinquents for the rich. And look, with Trump, what it's producing. He's a product of all of this. I mean, everybody of our generation is implicated. So, as seen in my previous blogs, women, particularly upper and upper middle class women, play and have always played an important role in shaping the political constructs in society through communication rather than brute force. While for centuries men held the reins of power, those hands were always guided by the heads and hearts of women, with the head of the evil stepmother and the heart, the fairy godmothers, 
all too often the case. The paradigm needed at present is the removal of the evil stepmother and evil stepsisters from the picture entirely. Oh my goodness. I don't know if you heard, but both my parents passed. They had COVID. Um, I don't know what, what, if you've even heard any stories about my parents over the year, but oh Lord, is that another soap opera with going all the way up to Edwin Edwards in Louisiana and the corruption there. Um, you know, it's, I, my siblings don't have anything to do with the farm and, uh, everything that my mother did just uh, they want to put it in the past they want to put it in the past well yeah i don't want to open old wounds but uh it, it, no uh just walk away and forget about it no because there are you know there are other victims here and and you know when particularly when the ruling elite just don't want to deal with any of this um, then, then, you know, it, it, it just becomes, uh, part of the norm and that's what's happened. Uh, but, uh, there's with the video ceremony and the preparations and it's a long story, uh, there's, I mean, I'm working on some videos. We had to redo videos, so I had to do that because my older sister had made it such a fight with her daughter. Oh, and I, I thank God wasn't on the committee. Kendra got all upset because there was a committee and she wasn't on the committee. I said, oh, God. I go through this all the time in Washington and all the time with the feminists and all the time with everybody. <gasps> this is why nothing gets done. Frickin' committees all over the place. That just, you know, cack I mean, I was like, my God, this is a, a, you know, this could be like some experiment, psychological experiment, you know, like Pavlo's dog type thing of, of, you know, what's going on in, in these committees and, and work projects. And at one point, there's, I I'm, I tell my siblings, I'm like, it looks like, you know, Cinderella with me running around trying to, you know, get this video working, because you got to process them and all of the, these different things that I have no memory on my computer, so I'm using four little different laptops to do it all. And all they do is scream at me, sitting there. Or as my older sister, usual with her cigarette, I mean, you know, people who smoke like that, yes, that, that produces the, 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 this, we don't want any smoking anywhere, um, you know, but, uh, all of them, yeah, and like, oh, I'm so tired, I'm so tired, I, you know, I've been at work today, nine to five my brother is oh he, he, he has a nine to five job he all he does is play golf or go out with his friends i mean now with the shutdown uh you know he's even more free time uh because yeah, he can't go out as much although i'm sure he does uh although his, his girlfriend is very very uh germaphobic so um but, uh, you know, and he's too tired, he's too tired, you know. I mean, for the past 15 years, I've been working 24-7. In fact, 2017, I was working 13 shifts a week. That's, that's double shifts at restaurants every day, except on Sundays, I would have one shift free. To sleep because I'd be exhausted. I mean, you know, I'm not 20 years old anymore. When I was in my 20s, I could do that. And, uh, you know, because the little savings I had had, I had spent uh, trying to, to, you know, pay my rent and pay everything, but warn the world that Trump was going to get in power and what he would do. And of course, you know, oh, everybody that I know around the world, 
I mean, what about what all the Colombians that I know? And Ingrid, I mean, Ingrid is, is probably the worst. I mean, until you get rid of the drug addiction problem and the drug consumption problem, and, you know, that's pharmaceuticals, illegal drugs, you know, and, and it's just, and it's, it's coming from everybody out partying, nobody spending time with their families, you know, oh, I'm too jet, busy jet setting, you know, I, I know my, my siblings and my mother, yeah, well, it'll be interesting to, to hear my, because, see, my mother suffered from Munchauser by proxy, and, and this is pretty common, I'm seeing it more and more with the narcissist, and, and they actually, they, they enjoy, I mean, Bill Gates, I saw him the other day talking about the COVID uh, treatment vaccine, I was like, he, he really looked like he was in, you know, I've seen this look on too many faces, you know, my mother, I've seen it with Pence, too many people who, oh, I'm such a, 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 a generous and, and, and helpful person, while at the same time, they are, are the ones who are producing their, their victim, but they're helping. Um, I mean, believe me, my mother has, has, has enjoyed, you know, me just to, as my sister has have, just, just as the women over at ICD, just as, as all of these, uh, Chelsea Killam, my roommate, uh, that was trying to get me thrown out on the street, this guy who's trying to get me thrown out on the street, um, you know, I, 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 I'm a threat to them and their bullying tactics and their their bullying network. I mean, the bullies are are and you know abusers of power because they don't care. Oh, Trump was just asked something on his debate about Kunan or I forget what the name of this organization was that was saying that the Democrats were a pedophile, uh, what is it, like, witch, I forget the word that they used, um, you yeah, but with some, like, uh, evil forces, a uh, pedophile ring. Um, now, see, this is where the extremism is getting in in all of this. No, the Democratic party and in its entirety is not some one big huge pedophile uh, I forget the, the terminology that they use uh, witchery uh, organization but just like in the Republican Party and just like in Hollywood and just like in the IMF and just like in the courts and just like everywhere else, um, the, 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 the pedophiles are, you have pedophiles and the, the, their, their, their crimes are being covered up along with, you know, the, the, the Harvey Weinstein and, and the, you know, couch casting you saw with Dominique Strauss-Kahn and Naji Pidoska at the IMF, um, was it Pidoska? No, she, I always forget. Uh, who's now over at London School of Economics. You know, see, it's one big frat house with the sorority sisters having become a bunch of whores. So, I, you know, Cornelia, are you starting to see that you know, your, your, your whole deb of the decade, uh, you know, sales pitch, which was just basically the flappers, because the war on drugs is the same as prohibition, and the debs, and everybody, you know, playing the deb game, and trying to become a deb, or, 
be like the Debs um, as their role model uh, are the same as the flappers and we're going to end up the same you know thing with another stock market crash for the same reason i mean it's it's, it's ludicrous it, now because nobody's you know no, nobody in the ruling elite i'm the only one of the foxcroft people or the cobham hall people or Alaire, any of the preppies and yuppies uh you know that i knew or that that are here in washington um you know too busy looking for their ne next conquest against the stupid dumb blonde millennials i mean i did it, it paper moon when i worked there there was this one girl um and you talk about your stupid dumb blonde and she was from foxcroft I mean, I always appreciated Foxcroft because it, 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 it taught me uh, that and Cobham Hall. There were a few teachers. Um, you got a mind, use it. And, and that's what these, these schools should be about. Not, you know, I don't know if you've looked at Foxcroft's website, what's going on over there. They've embraced all of this, uh, you know, empowering the minorities. I, I contacted them, a courageous conversation thing that they do, put together by a black woman. Well, and I saw the speakers they had had. I, I know they'll never contact me. And she bucked it over to some white blonde, some white blonde who was a, um, oh, uh, what's the school in Washington? The prep school where Obama's kids went, uh, it'll come to me. She was from there. Oh, the, the woman who helped Larry Summers find the new uh, head of the Center for Global Development, Masoud Ahmed, it w was, was chosen. I applied and never got a, 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 an interview. Well, that's discrimination. See how the prep school people, old guard and new, um, are, 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 is it Holton Arms? I forget. I think it was Holton Arms. It's one of those. It's one of the, you know. But all of these prep schools, I mean, yeah, you know, believe me, my parents didn't have a house in Palm Beach. And, or Martha's Vineyard or any, you know, Kendra was always, oh, she really bought into all of that. And she, she you know, uh, that's why I also see not only, uh, you know, it is for what it is, because I saw how my sister was so seduced by that and I was pretty much disgusted. Um, you know, and, and it was the whole, my mom was seduced by all of that and, and, you know, a real social climber, real social climber. I mean, I, I know, you know, Doug Shar, Dwight Shar's son, um, real estate, Washington, DC, even once told me, he said, well, the problem with being rich is you never know if your friends are your friends because of your money or because they want to be friends with you. I knew exactly what I was talking about. My mother the entire time, it just, I used to cringe. Uh, do they have any money? Anytime we would, you know, talk about a new friend or something or somebody we had met. Do they have any money? How much do they have? First thing that went through me, Kendra's gotten on board. We see where that took her <laughs> and is going to take her. Oh. Anytime I want to hear what the feminists, uh, you know, have to say about me, I just call her up and listen to her. How oh, you're just a stupid, deposed trophy wife who never did anything with your life. And look at me, I'm the big business woman. And I, she's just like Trump. I mean, even uh, one of the uh, Foxcroft girls recent told, recently told me, um, my God, she just, no, she hadn't talked talk to her in years and years and years because she just become so narcissistic. 
And, and another girl years ago told me that uh, they could never understand why Kendra hated me so much. <clears throat> she always hated me so much, the same reason that all these PhDs and all these little, you know, uh, brown nosers in this town, particularly the little ladies <clears throat> and the IMF Family Association, uh, World Bank Family Network, and um, Institute for Capacity Development that I work with. Uh, you know, could, could, can't stand me, um, and are jealous for the same reasons with Kendra, because they know that I know what I'm talking about, that, 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 you know, that I'm more competent than them for their jobs, and I also know exactly what all of these guys are talking about above them, but they don't understand it, and they're consumed with jealousy, over my intelligence. I mean, my God, that was the name of the game with my mother and my siblings and my father the entire time. I mean, I, I, really, I, I, it's it's almost kind of a relief that he's gone because nobody can hurt him anymore. He was locked up with my mom at the end there. Everybody at Foxcroft and GW, and all of our schools know what, what, what torture that would be. And she just got worse and more. Oh, at the end, she was, she was in full form. Oh, in full form. That, 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 that is torture. My older sister said, a eh, first form of torture is isolation. No been locked up with mom. So see, Betty, uh, what is, no, uh, Patty Davis, uh, Betty, um, Nancy Reagan's daughter, even talks about this. I love this story. Uh, she was little and Nancy Reagan had been fat. And so of course became obsessed with being, you know, Ken was gone down that road because Kenny was a little chubby girl when she was little. And that's also why she was always, you know, jealous of me because I was always the skin, skinny one. Okay, when we went off to Cobham and for the first time I could have candy after our macrobiotic mother put on like 40 pounds. And I realized, you know, how, how, how uh, going to extremes... It, it, you know, of no sugar sweets or whatever is horrible to do to, to, to anybody. Because then they, when they, they, same thing with my first year at GW, and we were finally freed. I mean, either we were at Cabo, we were at Foxcroft, or um, out on the farm working. We weren't even allowed to go to the mall or see a movie. So, of course, when I got to college, my lord, my first year, eh, I went wild. See, it, it, this whole thing, this is why in Europe, you, you didn't, you're, you're seeing it now, you didn't have the binge drinking and also all of these kids going off to college. Um, I mean, part of it is the, 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 also the control family and traditions that uh, agreed, but part of it is also that, uh, you know, you didn't have this, you're not allowed to have anything to drink, anything to drink, anything to drink uh, until you're 18. I mean, it's part of the culture. It's not, um, you know, of course you're not giving, but, 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 but even when kids are little, they all have some maybe wine with their water when they're, they're the, you know, adolescence. It's, 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 it's no big deal. So nobody becomes obsessed, but you're starting to see it. The, the, our house in Madrid, there's a university out there for the rich kids. Almost every Monday, <clears throat> going back and forth to, to take my kids to the Lycée Francais and the village of Villanueva La Cañada, there would be some car on the side of the road that it flipped and it was obviously, you know, an accident from um, 
the, the college students. That's why it feels so ridiculous of some four cops in that area coming to, to harass me so my ex can get custody of our kids. And yet then set it up to get me in jail because <clears throat> then I have a penal code against me. See, I mean, you know, this is this is no different than these these you know horror stories that you're hearing about some poor woman in in you know India or Sri Lanka. Sharmani Curry is from Sri, Sri Lanka. Um, she's the head of the uh, Institute for Deve Capacity Development. They have the highest uh, human rights. Uh, violations of any country in the world. She's just importing her, 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 you know, uh, that those culture and oppressive cultural norms into this country with her work. These are not, you know, democratic principles that anybody, uh, you know, trickle up, trickle down. So, uh, So nobody understands that with privilege comes responsibility and it's going to be their demise. So, and why time and time again in history when a long-standing elite is replaced by a nouveau reach population, hedonism, increased income inequality, and economic instability result. This is why violent revolutions are not producing effective change and transforming societies into real democratic models and paradigms. Without changing the rules of the game, societies, oh gosh, uh, well, if I had this printed out, let's see. Uh, this is this goes on to another one. I guess I, I gotta look through my copies. So anyway, but that that does go into what uh, maybe it just got cut off. Sorry. Okay, in my series of blogs for Sean Penn that I have synopsized the Sean Penn affair. Now, Cornelia, this, you know, Sean Penn, at least in, in 2016 with the El Chapo Speaks article in Rolling Stones, he recognized the, the American um, ruling elite of our generation, because he's, I, he's a, little bit older than that I maybe a few years older than I am but I mean <laughs> when we were on our teens it was maybe a, you know a, a difference but uh nowadays it's, it's you know four or five years is not no, no big deal um but uh you know and the Madonna I mean he saw it he I'm sure he saw it more than I did I just really saw it from the periphery. I was working in, uh, you know, the nightclubs here in town or, or you know, the, the different parties. And, of course, people ask me, did you try it? I'm like, of course I did. And yeah, I did it more than once because it was the cool thing to do. If you want to be in with the cool people, you better be doing the cool drugs. But I was like... Well, first, my pocketbook just does not support this. Um, and second, uh, this is just like having two pots of coffee or something. And that's American coffee. This is like a couple, you know, shots of, of espresso. Um, what is that Red, Red Bull or something like that out there? Oh, God, a friend of mine was drinking that one time, and I, you know, tasted it, and I was like, oh, my God, and, and no, yeah, shoot you up. 
I mean, I was always like, my God, I got a type A personality. I'm always going a mile a minute, a mile a minute. Okay, not the parties, um, you know, in my work or, or whatever. And I need things to, to calm me down. I mean, my idea of meditating, oh, no, 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 no. That's going to stress me out. Uh, my meditation is going for an aerobics class. And that's when I meditate. I mean, it's just as much meditation as the, um, I mean, battered mother's crust to the conference. And, 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 and the, 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 is particularly the Child, California Child Protection Association. It, it, a lot of these women in the movement, um, the domestic violence, uh, they're really, I don't know, they're, uh, it, it, it's getting into cult and clicks. I mean, it was already clicks when I got involved back in 2010. And, but, but Cornelia, uh, the social order in the United States, it's in dire, dire, dire straits. And as I say, you're not alone in putting it there, uh, nor all of the Foxcroft girls, but, um, you know, you, 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 you're, you're part of, of the problem just as much as all of the ruling elite that I've been calling out in Washington, you know, and Pincus, wife of Walter Pincus of the Washington Post. I think you're gonna look pretty damn bad. And as I, you know, people, anybody in this town who's got anything to do with her tells you she's a piece of work. Well, we got to get rid of all of the Nancy, you know, those who are on board with the Nancy Reagan. Uh, you know, let's bring back the 1930s control freak. Oh, that was the story about the Nancy Reagan when I talked about the candy. Her daughter had, uh, when she was young, had some candy at the grocery store. Nancy Reagan went ballistic in the car. She was so flipping out that a cop stopped her. And the, the, the girl, um, you know, her daughter thought, well, good, because the cop's going to say, lady, you got to calm down. No, Nancy Reagan starts to, see, see, my, my daughter, I mean, can you imagine? She makes me into this state. I mean, you know, she just, she should be ashamed of herself. I mean, I just can't. And the daughter puts the mother into, no, the mother put herself into that state. Oh, I mean, my Lord, a ballistic, my mom, yeah, I'm sure. If she had gone uh, competition with Nancy Reagan, she would have beat Nancy Reagan and Joan Crawford and all that. That that's got to stop. I've been seeing the results of that time and time and time and time and time again. You know, with their children and how this is destroying the children. Every country I've gone, every nationality, I it's across the board. And I know people from around the world, I, you know, this has got to stop. So, you know, the, the Sean Penn, well, I won't go through all of this. Um, but, you know, that's another thing. Sean Penn, contact Sean Penn. I'm sure Sean Penn would understand a lot of the stuff that I'm talking about and would be a hundred percent on board with me as i'm sure prince charles would and and you know when i contacted you and i get it you know everybody always wants a piece of you all everyone wants a piece of you particularly you come you know you become this famous person um but you know this this company global expats i mean the 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 website the concept is a cross between TripAdvisor, facebook linkedin um and and yelp.com uh 
and but it targets you know global families who are moving and and you know more of the 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 ten percenters and the middle class uh because the immigrants is kind of a, a, a different um issue although i'm seeing that there's you know more and more par parallels and it does need to you, you know be looked at holistically um so you know i guess i see i i i represent 90 percent of the, the world's population um you know and, and pretty good i mean maybe not the most um the easiest road to go down in a social media campaign uh but i've shown the people that i'm not just there to make make a quick buck yeah this thing was designed to 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 make a lot of money susan feeney of um she was bank of america big you know international marketing expert uh she's in spain trying to to sell luxury manufacturing goods of course she yeah she was let off from bank of america as was her as was her husband um and you know it, it, it's just another this is why again trickle down's not working because all of these people want to only get involved in predatory uh, commerce or selling the luxury goods i mean one of my my pet projects <laughs> this is my own my own artisan artwork i mean it's a, the top of a table uh that i made actually the table i made in 2016 i just hadn't finished painting it um you know I, I loved all of the artisan work uh in south america that i saw and i know there's you know in asia they have theirs and in russia i'd seen some as well but i also know from my you know research and to marketing that stuff um to markets in in the united states and europe how those people are being exploited being exploited by their own governments the agencies you know that are supposed to um be promoting i particularly of course saw this in in bogota and colombia with the pro export and all of their government agency initiatives i mean this is again ingrid you know where are you presidential uh, candidate let's see this is the presidential candidate just want to be uh, power and glory and up on the podium and and giving speeches i mean everything's i just i can't even watch the news anymore <laughs> i listen to these tarot readers <laughs> who tell who say what trump's thinking or what pence is thinking or what the the their different you know um the deep state around them is thinking but again the deep state the real deep state are the wives because as one guy said um the he wouldn't go and work for trump not because of any you know he was worried about any kind of legal problems in the future which is what really should have been his concern no 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 it was with his wife would have made his life a living hell so he couldn't do it see you know buying the wars bill moyer came out buying the wars and everybody was like how did we get fooled <clears throat> and to believe in all of this well maybe if ann pankas wasn't so far, far up in her little ivory tower and all of the other people in washington and we're out there watching and looking around of what's going on not just in northwest but everywhere else and actually is being used the scapegoat this is really pissing me off because 
since day one when I got into the, the courts, when I try and get back into the labor markets. No, 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 nobody will hire me because all trophy wives are nothing but parasitic women who sit out around in the country club all day long and, you know, uh, mistreat all of the help. And this is payback time. I particularly get it. Oh, do I get it in the restaurant industry? I mean, some of the people treat me with respect, but I mean, one one guy, the Saudi Arabian man. Oh, he knows all the VIPs. I, I even said to him and the manager, if he ever threatens me like that or speaks to me like that, because I wanted to take a chair from his section because I didn't have enough chairs. And another section, I'm the hostess. I mean, I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. You know, we're always playing musical chairs in the place because there wasn't enough chairs. So, you know, they know. I mean, I had to, I, I had to have a whole discussion in the staff meeting and, and assert my authority as the hostess and tell everybody, if I take a chair from your section, I don't want to hear boo. I mean, it, it's a busy, they do a busy, busy lunch. So, you know, when, when it starts, you know, moving and, and, and particularly when I'm like, oh God, I got some tables coming in and I got nothing turning, uh, you know, or I'm short on tables or the, 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 I mean, this town is being destroyed as is this country. Amy Milbrandt was here recently and I told her, I said, Amy, everybody's crazy. Everybody. I mean, in the restaurant business, in the IMF, I saw it when I'm up on Capitol Hill, the millennials and all the idiots who work up there in the NGOs, the think tanks. Oh gosh, when I have to look for a place to live, I've had to change nine times. I mean, I can't get a job in my own country because I'm a white American. Old lady. And my family hangs me out to dry. I haven't heard, I haven't heard from, you know, any of my old friends. I just, you know, since I no longer have a million dollar home, it's like I no longer exist. That's why, you know, part of the, this gets into, this is a sati game. And I know if I had spent my time since I've been back in D.C. since 2009, my weekends, my money, renting a bar, and I mean, I've tried to go out to the first reunion, but I had the problem not with my license, my Belgium license. It was that I didn't have a credit card. And I couldn't get a credit card because I had been out of the country and I had no credit rating and I had been out of the, the job market. Oh, my parents, they had a little money, $10,000. My mother, I think she was afraid that my father would say, oh, well, let's give it to Quenby or, you know, help her out with, you know, room and board until at least I got a job. So what my mom did was she gave it to Kendra under some pretext that Kendra was going to start another bed and breakfast. I mean, Kendra's going to lose all of her properties as it is, and, and, you know. So, I mean, this was just one of those, oh, God, I mean, where did that crazy idea come from? Well, no, it made total sense because then there would be no money to help me out because there wasn't any money there. My poor father, totally doped up at the end, totally. And this is another reason why my siblings want to shut me up, because he was on lithium. My mom had always tried to get him on lithium, and um, <clears throat> she finally did. And then any time he showed me up his dose of lithium, up his dose of lithium. See, the the, the this is why drug addiction is increasing in this country. And, and I mean, this had serious, serious, when I found out about all of this, 
and the risk to his heart from you know taking these dosage and for such an extended period furious I even told my siblings I said oh well this is this will be good when I am given a voice in, in combating the war on drugs now the reason why they they don't want to help me and they want to shut me up I mean the intimidation oh at the end my my older sister with position in herself to become the, the new dominator and silencer of the family and thought that she was going to shut me up because she started see this is you see this with Trump you see this with any dictator and all how she worked my brother see my brother's just like all the other castrated men out there just you know do anything uh, not gonna stand up to any of this and this is why uh, this is all gonna end bad but you know uh, they had voted uh, oh also I found out at the end that my father had had an affair and that's why we left Tucson so suddenly and moved to England and this first my older sister started in on oh no they had voted that we couldn't tell Kendra that. I was like, well, I'm not gonna pick a fight right now, but I'm telling her, I mean, I'm not gonna keep that from her. It, it, she has every right to know that's, uh, you know, you have no right to, 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 to vote. Then I forget there was something else and we voted you couldn't say anything about this. And then Jonathan and I had voted that we can't say anything about this. And I was like, wait a second, during the memorial service, of course, nobody's going to say anything, you know, uh, going to bash mom. But, it, it, you know, uh, this does not mean that I'm not going to be talking about everything. I mean, my God, I, I have, you know, I could write so many different books, scandalous you know, mommy dearest type thing, which I would never do. I think Mary Trump's book, I haven't read it yet, but I've listened to her speak, and it's more the way that this, this subject needs to be addressed, that this is very dysfunctional, um, but uh, the, the, the everybody here has a, been a victim in, in their own right. I mean, you know, my, my mother just uh, destroyed my sisters, uh, you know, she tried to destroy me. Um, I guess that's why I was such a threat to her. I mean, she actually came up here in 2016. At the end of the year, I forget, it was before the elections. Um, had called GW behind my back. I had gotten this telephone call uh, or text or something I, 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 it, from GW confirming my appointment for a brain scan. And I called them and, or maybe I actually went over there because it's, you know, it's right downtown. And um, I, I, I said, what is this all about? And they said, no, you, you know, we have an appointment for you for a brain scan. <laughs> it's going to cost $400. And I was like, no, I didn't make any appointment. I mean, I don't have, you know, I don't have health insurance because I can't afford it. And, you know, well, it was my mom who had ordered the brain scan. And it came into this whole, I mean, my brother was screaming and yelling at me because, of course, my mom, and I was like, this is ridiculous. I mean, they, they told my mom this is ridiculous, but then they start screaming at me saying, well, just do it to appease her. Just do it to appease her. I said, you know, they don't have $400 to throw in the trash, and I don't have $400 to throw in the trash. And I mean, my older sister even said, with everything that I've been going through in the past 15 years, first in Spain, and then since I've been back here in, in Washington, I mean, 
everywhere I'm living, everywhere I'm working, I just, you know, these are hate crimes. Really, really, really hate crimes. And so, of course, I'm angry. And so my mom, you know, my sister was like, wait a second. I would be worried about her if she wasn't angry. And that's the thing is, yeah, what, lobotomize me? So, you know, this is with the domestic violence uh, women. I'm kind of like, wait a second, you people, this, you know, well, we're not going to fight back. Uh, and just hum and meditate and cry on somebody's shoulder and, 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 you know, just, oh, he's so mean to me. I mean, I have to admit, I sometimes see some of these cases uh, of domestic violence, and I have to agree with some of the, the father's rights uh, men and say, she's got to enjoy that if she sticks around. Now, Leslie Morgan Steiner, that's one, uh, you know, another rah, rah, rah. A uh, great marketing person. She marketed some one of these false sugars. I forget saccharin. It was sweet. And I, 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 it wasn't sweet. Low. It was after that. I forget what. Big, big marketing person because she did that. Uh, then she wrote uh, this book about moms. Another, you know, another book. It's it's actually kind of like silly. Um, but the, 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 and then she came out and, you know, was telling about how night before she gets married, her, her husband, her fiance has a gun to her head and like bashing her over the head and then says, no, I won't ever do that. Uh, no, excuse me. He was, uh, sending you a pretty good message about what, what things were going to be like. Uh, I mean, I, I would have packed my bags and left. No, 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 no freaking way. Oh, I mean, my lord. I mean, yeah, my ex-husband was a macho Spaniard. And he got destroyed, and that's what, you know, caused the violence and, and why, you know, it was, but, and he definitely has a lot of psychological problems, which I had tried to get him to deal with. Which, of course, he wouldn't, just, you know, just like my siblings, just like my mother, just like everybody else I know. No problem here. No problem here. I'm good. I'm great. My kids are great. Nobody, you know, yeah, meanwhile, how many of them are on drugs? How many are, you know, are, are out sleeping around because, you know, they don't have anybody who cares about them and or they're just you know a bunch of whores and pants so cornelia this this whole paradigm has got to stop anyway i tried to go through teal Ka kennedy when um this uh this whole thing um the the, the pandemic started but of course, she just ignored. I, she, I think she even blocked me um, on the Twitter account because I was trying to send her information. I mean, your PR people out there are, you know, that's what the trophy wives do. And once again, doing a pretty damn bad job of it. Because believe me, more bucks bum. Ooh la. After how she just ignored me. When I was sending her, you know, trying to get her to read the blogs that I was doing for Sean Penn. So it's a whole series of blogs. And uh, get him, you know, promote that in the press. To tell the people, the, the idiots who are attacking him, stand down. He's right. You, saw, uh, you should see Saturday Night Live. Kamala Harris comes on stage. It's the 2020 elections, you know, a parody. And they have the Kamala Harris coming on stage going, that's enough, boys. That's enough. That's enough. What needs, what Washington needs 
is a new Emily Post. They inject some etiquette and manners into this city and call out, you know, all of these little game playing viperous little bitches like Anne Beatrix Keller and her band of friends and all of the women over at the IMF Family Association, all of the Wor World Bank Family Network, all of the little, you know, millennials and, and what is it, the X, Gen X now up on Capitol Hill. I mean, when I would go up there with the activist, I mean, you know, I was already disillusioned with what I saw from 80 to 85 up there. And believe me, I walked the halls. I was the gopher. And I was more than happy. I mean, I love to walk. I don't like to sit. So anytime I knew you need to go over the Capitol, you need to go over to the house side. Yeah, no problem. Uh, you know, so I, I know, you know, I know the hill like the back of my hand. And, you know, the, the holes and the, 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 and it has just become more and more of cacophony with more and more think tanks of cacophony here. I mean, I was at a Foxcroft reunion in April. Uh, let's see, Lee Topping Brady was there. Uh, her father-in-law is Secretary Brady, architect of the Brady Bonds, which started the indebtedness, the indebtedness in South, in, you know, Latin America, and this whole trend with the IMF and the World Bank to lend, you know, to help development. Well, that was would have been fine if it hadn't been done in a predatory fashion all of these years. And we hadn't had the rise of corporate interests and and really the, 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 the manner in which our generation and and you know our our uh, the ruling elite class because yeah my mom's a social climber yeah my mom your mom was a you know, hell of a lot higher in the social order than my mother ever would have I mean she would have loved to have uh, and I'm sure the reason why she had me hold, hold somewhere in her twisted mind with me having to do the Deb, you know, come out. See, all of you, I don't know, all, it seems like all, all of you Foxcroft girls, uh, like, loved that and bought into it. I hated it. I hated it every step of the way. And we didn't have the money for it. That's what drove me crazy. Oh, if we had had, you know, tons of money and tons of money and, and it was just a drop in the bucket, then, you know, I'd have been like, you know, whatever. And done it. And, and, but, you know, the, 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 there had never been enough money for Foxcroft. How, uh, you know, and believe me, my parents ended, you know, ended up, I don't, as soon as I can get this whole project, <clears throat> well, my, my siblings just kind of laugh at me like everybody else does when I say, yeah, I got a $10 billion lawsuit. Well, no, because over a decade ago, I was trying to start a company that all of Facebook and, you know, all of these different uh, companies that are making the money off of advertising from an information-based website or social networking website are successful. But of course, they got a hundred million dollars from Capital Venturist to start. Well, nobody would give that to me. I mean, I, oh, you gotta do this, you gotta do that. I did it all by the book. Nobody wanted to help me, nobody wanted to use their contacts. See, this is the, the ruling elite. You know, how can the international development community try to be selling the, the sustainable development goals to me, particularly the Institute for Capacity Development, where I was working when I was looking for all of my money for this stuff. 
their budget is $330 million a year. I'm looking for $100 million. And with $100 million, I'll do something that with that. They, they, they're producing stuff for the trash can. It's all just more and more blah, 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 blah. And, and what really angers me is then I'm the one who is treated like a stupid parasite when the shoe's on the other foot. So, um, you know, as I say, I won't go through all of this, but, uh, you know, Mario Puzo was right in The Godfather when he said that the American judicial and political system is as much a mafia as the Sicilian mafia in the USA. This is why the breakdown in the rule of law in the US, if that rule of law ever existed in the first place, um, is so dire at present. So, um, you know, the war on drugs has helped bring this in. Um, you know, as Chris Hedges in The Death of the Liberal Class uh, says, it's important to have a ruling elite that will constantly be challenging the conservatives. Well, while Nancy Reagan and, and your mom and, and all of those, you know, uh, the New York jet set and, uh, you know, uh, I mean, believe me, my mother, as I say, she was never a major player in this whole thing, but even the minor players you know, because she was, she was so afraid, so afraid. That's why she was going to come up here and have the brain scan and an intervention. My, my dumb blonde cousin, Republican Baptist, uh, even came up here and she was telling me, she said, what would Jesus think if he knew what you were doing? So I, I cannot, I cannot wait until the day that I find out the narrative of my mother and how my campaigning for Hillary Clinton and, you know, she thought I was going to get a little cushy job with the Democrats and just how out to lunch and how we just do not understand anything that's going on if she ever did. Um, but how this was the antichrist that i'm the antichrist <laughs> actually i heard somebody recently say uh, a philosopher had said that the narcissism epidemic is the antichrist and you know i'm sorry cornelia again as they say you know well, we were never friends so i don't know you very well you did you know um when there was the accident, you're the one who went to Kendra and told her. So that does show that you have some, you know, you're not a totally, you know, narcissistic, uh, uncaring person. Um, but, uh, you know, I can't get through Teal Kennedy and all the other Foxcroft girls um, are too busy. I mean, Lee Topping Brady, she said, oh, I'm good, I'm good, in her million dollar home. Well, yeah, all of them are out there are good. I, I, I'm sitting here paying the consequences of all of the narcissism and all of the, the, the game playing and all of the grappling up the, the success of, of, you know, the, the, the 10 percenters wanting to become debutantes and, and jet setters. Um, because I can't even get a, a minimum wage job now. I mean, this is ridiculous. When I got here, a headhunter told me, I'll never find you a job because anybody uh, interviewing you will be afraid in six months you'll have their job. So see, it's not like Kendra wants to make out and like all of these, you know, brown-nosing idiots that, um, you know, have, have 
that that know I could replace them at a drop of a hat and, and they're so terrified of losing their jobs because believe me Washington is just has been inundated for decades with idiots who will just sleep their way to the top one of the the, the a recent events coordinator oh god disaster in Galari I mean with the I even told this a restaurant where I've been working on K Street uh, I even said when Rita left the former manager I said to the waiters I said and the staff I said well you see because then we had anarchy because then you had um, the sex offender guy see this is who they're giving jobs to in Washington and then this uh, Latino she's African American and Latina um, woman who had come down from New York and who was uh, I mean just all of us in the place are like has this woman ever even worked in a restaurant I mean incredible just, and 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 nothing up here uh, creating chaos so of course there's a power struggle and she, you know, she's Latina and speaks Spanish, so she's trying to work her allies and build her allies in the kitchen, while the other manager is has his, you know, immigrant uh, young women who are here and, you know, like they're from Eastern Europe, Bulgarian. So, um, and there's some from Azerbaijan. I mean. A couple of girls who've come one girl who came in really really sweet I really liked her um, but some of them I mean most of them are whores but uh, uh, there's one oh Lord she just I mean you talk about your stupid 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 dumb blonde okay she she's tall and thin but believe me man you know, in 20 years, that brood mare is not going to be worth a damn. <laughs> and that's why she loves to, you know, denigrate and, and disrespect. <laughs> I even did call her a bitch one time. Yeah. Um, because that's what she is. That wasn't a threat. That was a bait and calling a spade a spade. God, you got to learn the difference between threatening somebody uh, and insulting somebody and, and calling them out. Um, but anyway, when we saw her almost sitting on the owner's lap one time when he came down from New York, we're like, oh, okay, now we understand how you got the job. See, this is this is what Washington is all about. Whores and pimps, all over the place, and the HR function is is just enabling it. And the ruling elite women, they're too busy in her dare, you know, country clubs and and having schmoozing and cruising and their lunches and their you know organizing their parties and their houses. Um, and turning a blind eye to everything that's going on here and it will collapse so uh you know in the foxcroft girls uh this is not gonna go well i mean and it's not just foxcroft it's 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 all the preppies and yuppies and and who uh who don't care so Cornelia, I hope um, that this will somehow get to you. I, I even saw that you had gone down to Texas. Uh, I don't know why you, you sold your place up in, in, I think it was New York, upstate New York, and was going to go to Texas, and I don't know, maybe, maybe uh, California afterwards. Uh, but I even called Dee Dee Alexander hoping well maybe Dee Dee Alexander would know how to get in contact with you I mean I called the King Ranch and I left and and she did actually call me back which was very nice um, she was on the call the, 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 the reunion but see at the, the, the reunion the zoom reunion 
81, uh, class of 81, you know, I was trying to tell everybody what's going on and, and trying to explain all of this stuff to everybody in, in the, the, the meeting, the reunion, but it's like, no, 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 we want to know how you are. We want to know how you are. I mean, I was like, no, you don't want to hear about that. The shitholes that I've been living in, the all of the, 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 the drama, all of the, 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 if you want to learn about that, go on my activism website. or read my blogs or something you know it, 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 this whole oh uh no 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 no, no. oh uh, you know well i got made out a new recipe i mean lee was complaining because she's got her kids home now and she's got to cook i would give my right arm to have my children with me and, and be able to cook for them I'm cooking. I'm even trying to get food out on the streets here. All they want are cigarettes and money. I've traveled. I've been to, I've been to Haiti. I've been to places where, oh my God, I'd be mobbed. You know, this is a zero sum game. And unfortunately, everybody in Washington has just go, gotten, you know, to social media campaigns of debutantes and parties and and um you know okay the cocaine epidemic has you know evolved to an op opioid epidemic i mean one, one of the reasons why my my sister and my cousin the dumb blonde who came up here uh my mother even told me her her one of her kids i think at least there was some sort of problems um <clears throat> but my my older sister I mean, my lord her son i was in colombia um i lived there for six years my older sister has lived there for for 30 years i don't even know if you knew we had an older sister kendra and i but we did she didn't go to foxhaw um she had stayed in europe and and uh, was in spain and that's where she met, met her, you know, future husband, which is now ex-husband. Um, but, you know, she, she, she followed the road of my mother. There is a choice here, Cornelia. There really is. And, um, you know, uh, I don't know, <laughs> I want to lecture you, but I hope you'll, you'll maybe think that a lot of damage has been done um as i say you were used as a pawn in that but uh you are part of that you do have a voice out there and you do i think have a a, a legitimate platform to be able to speak and say wait a second guys i may have started the deb of the decade um you know for example the the children children animals have more rights in the united states than children because of all of these animal rights you know your your uh vegan cooking and um you know synthetic leather purses i mean i used to, i use i you can see I do artwork. I used to design. I used to do jewelry. I don't have anything on right now, but you know, gold and and emeralds and and I mean, I like uh, semi-precious stones, but melt it all. I mean, you really do it, not just you know here and then do it for me. No, uh, unfortunately, I don't have my um, all my machines my press and, and you know to melt the gold and everything um, but I would love to be doing that I, I you know a lot of the socialite women did that and that's how they became you know Gloria von Furstenberg and all of those <clears throat> in the 70s they started but um, you know just the, the this whole vegan living and uh, animal rights 
whereas we turn a blind eye to what's happening you know the pedophiles are taking over my older sister she said in colombia she said oh my god you wouldn't believe they're starting to say that um pedophilia is is no different than homosexuality it's just another you know form of of uh, uh sexuality and i said oh yeah they've been promoting that for decades now that the, the the pedophile rights groups are getting stronger and stronger we're all aware of them in the domestic violence uh industry which is cashing in as is the press um right now uh, uh, let's see I sent because I'm at the point where I'm just I'm, I'm basically setting everybody up they want to play Machiavellian games in Washington with me well you know as I said in Spain when they started this uh, I only have one rule when you guys want to play this game with me we play by your rules so you want to play hardball, you want to play Machiavellian games with me, you want to try and destroy me, you want to ostracize me, you want to shut me up everywhere, you know. Um, I mean, of course, I mean, my brother, because I said to my sister, I said, you know, well, both of it, them, Henry's going to lose everything. I, my older sister in Colombia, we'll see how that goes. I mean, I would never, never, um, you know, uh, hang them out to dry like they've hung me out to dry. But my brother's like, what, are you threatening her? And I said, oh, God, that's the way you all people think. I'm not threatening anybody from day one. <laughs> in Spain this friend of mine she says is this a threat I mean it wasn't towards her because she was involved but um and I said oh, I don't make threats I only make promises and 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 I'm not threatening anybody this is where this whole is coming from you guys and everybody is probably interpreting these letters that I'm sending them as threats and threats and I'm gonna come after and I'm yeah I'm gonna come after them because they're breaking the law and this is another problem that's out there that nobody, everybody is about money, 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 and greed. So the second that you say, I want to, you know, take you to court, I want to take you to court and bring a lawsuit against you, they just think you're trying to get wrangle some money. Because nobody, nobody, particularly the lawyers, you know, are concerned about producing jurisprudences and taking cases to courts because somebody broke the law or there's been an injured party. It's just, oh, can we angle this so we can make some money here? Now, believe me, I get the whole thing. You got to constantly, I'm constantly in anything that I do. Okay. How do we position ourselves? How do we angle this to optimize the possibility for success? But I am not going to manipulate legal principles or try and subvert the law or the Constitution or anything else to get to, to my means. I mean, this is where the narcissists and the Machiavellians, eh, they justify their actions because they, they, well, that's, that's how, you know, that's how you achieve something. If, if first you don't succeed, try, 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 and try again. Now, also stop stepping over you know falling over the same stone time and time and time and time again sometimes if it's not working maybe it's because it's for a reason and you need to look at maybe what you're doing and everybody keeps on telling me well you're not getting any farther because you're wrong i'm like wait a second 
attack me on the issues. Tell me where I'm wrong. But don't tell me I'm wrong because nobody likes me. Or don't tell me I'm wrong because I'm stupid. Does that sound good to you? Don't tell me I'm wrong because you don't know how to listen. Tell me where I'm wrong or, you know, it, it, shut up. And if you have an obligation to know what I'm talking about, then I'll see you in court and I'll see you in jail. This is where ruling elite women come in. And, and, and everybody, all of the ruling elite women in this country have dropped the ball, just as all of the ones in the international arena. And it's gonna, it's, it's, it's gonna end up in bloodshed. I mean, I, you know, I know you don't have any children and that's, you know, sometimes what's made me survive, my husband, my ex promised me I would commit suicide, but it's not going to happen because I would never abandon my children. I mean, I've gotten to the point where the rest of the world, you want to self-destruct, you know. I've done what I can. So anyway, Cornelia, I'll, um, I wish you well, but, uh, I do hope you'll, uh, you know, listen to what I have to say and maybe read, uh, particularly the stuff that's going on in family courts because, um, the pedophiles are women, won winning. And uh, everybody's just making a, a quick buck. So stay safe and uh, you know, eat safe. Bye-bye.